Hello, hello, hello. Here we are, Mr. Chris Johnson and Marty. <laughs> we're going to, we're, we're doing the shine the light on others because we have such great people out in Home Passive and not all of them have as big vocal cords as me and Chris. So yeah. we'd like to bring them on because we were, because we travel around a lot in the um, passive world here, we meet a lot of people. I have, um, uh, Raphael, I had met through Dan Street, through D uh, Daryl Cook, and then he knows them over in the Bahamas. Really great guy. From the very beginning, He's been in love with our past, and you can tell, you know, people that love it. We're going to talk to him a little bit, and you'll see why. Uh, I'm going to turn it, I'm going to pull him in. Again, this is uh, Raphael St. Germain. Raphael, come on down and say hello to everyone. Hi, Raph. Hello, <laughs> hello. But first of all, let me say, what's up, uh -huh. all? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marty. Hey, Chris. How are you guys doing? It's a pleasure to be here with you guys today. And that's Raphael's trademark when he's live. He does it. What's up, all? It's good to see <laughs> you, my brother. Uh, I, I know I don't want to make you too jealous, but it's almost 60 degrees in Michigan today. In the Bahamas, I'm sure it's 190, something like that. I don't know. Oh, good we weather. 72 right now. So we got oh, oh, my God. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Raphael, don't get, don't talk anymore. I'm going to kick you off. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't feel sorry for you, Raphael. <laughs> no. Okay. Let's get this thing started. Uh, because we want to make it all about you, we're going to ask Raf some basic questions. Uh, notice that he's got this beautiful QR code that you scan, not click, because I get the bad thing of saying click. You scan it. Uh, it'll let you know about three free products. We'll talk about that later. But let's get this started. Raf. Raphael St. Germain, before I'm passive, can you give me a little bit of history about Raphael that, that maybe more people would want to know about just before I'm passive? Okay, guys. Uh, well, you know, I'm from the islands of the Bahamas. I'm in my home island is the Elutra here in the Bahamas and I'm um, born and grow. You know, I moved away from home for after school. You know, I did it all the way. They said it should have been done. I was born, went to school got an education, came out, got a job, like they say, be shut, and oh, made a few bucks. I moved away from home at the age of 18. I spent about 24 years in the capital here, Nassau, in the Bahamas, and then I moved back home here to Lucha seven years ago. Uh, during that period of time, I worked numerous jobs, construction, uh, bartender for a few years. I traveled as a window interior, in solo, so yeah, now I'm back home. Very good. Sorry, I muted myself, Rob. Okay, so Raphael, we know we're all in passive, and we all have our different opinion of what attracted us to a passive. What who's who got you in this? What year did you come in this? And what what attracted you to a passive, Raph? Well, um, I came in and my starting was July. 28, 2021, you know, I was out working one day and a very good friend of mine, a gentleman by the name of Sean Budley, called me up and said, Rafi, I got something for you because we did a lot of other stuff together. I'm not going to call the names, you know, and I had promised that I would never get into anything else online again. You know, he called me up and said, Rafi, I got something for you and I think you should take a look at it, you know. I say, okay, brother, I'm busy right now, but I'll take a look once I get home this evening, I'll give you a call. So I got to peep at it a little bit while I was working. I got home and five minutes later, I was signed up. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's an interesting story. I'm loving your background noises of those chickens. If you want to know more about those chickens, when you click, when you scan that QR code and you get involved with Raphael, He's got a pretty cool story about that. So, uh, okay, so you, you got in the past and you were excited about it. You've been on this journey. What 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 are you getting out of this, Prof? That's what I really want to know. Chris, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Before on passive, I was reserved. I was laid back. I Matter of fact, the guy, gentleman that brought me into on passive, um, Sean Butler, 
when we were in the other businesses, um, I was so shy that I used to use him and two other guys to do my um, recruiting for me. You know, I get the people that I could bring them in to do the talking for me, you know, but since the pastor came in, oh man, I don't know the change has flip a switch on me. You know, I just keep going, you know, I, I live this. Trust me, I lived this. At one point, my sister that I that we lived together, she said, man, you choose the wrong time to retire because I had stopped doing everything. Just for on passive, you know, I just everything, every webinar that came up, I was on it, you know. And guys, while I'm on it, let me tell you my biggest reason for coming into on passive, you know. I'm not gonna go into all the details, but one night sleeping, I had a dream, you know. I was sitting around the table with some friends and in the dream, I was take, I was I, I got up to go to the bathroom and I was taken back to the table in the spirit. And I heard my friends, very good friends, that were downgraded me right after I got up from the table from them. And God in my dream told me that, hey, don't worry about it. I'm gonna take care of you. Exactly one month later, my friend Sean called me with this on passive. That's why I got in so fast. Well, there you go. I, I, you know, I hear that a lot from people how uh, this was brought to them. And, and we're not trying to sound like one of those crazy people, but I've heard more than 100 people say, God brought me here. God gave me a sign. I hear it every day constantly. So, uh, you know, my next question, and I got to bring this up because you brought it up. I hear a lot of people say this too. Chris, I just never wanted to try anything again. What is it? Why would you say that? And then why did you still get into a passive? I can I know your answer, but I want you to tell. Now, this is a message to all those people out there who say the same thing as you did. I will never do anything online again. Raf, tell us why and why you're here now, because those two reasons. Well, I, 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 the other stuff that I got into, you know, it was easy for me to get into, but um, it was it. Very, very hard for me to bring people along. You know, I got it. I started on passive, and I once Sean told me that, hey, you have to do no recruitment man. on passive. We do all the work for you. I said, hey, brother, this sound like something I needed need to check out. You know, so I went and checked it out, and it was there in black and white. You know, under NDA. So if they if I have to sign an NDA that says that they're gonna do it for me, why not take a chance and do it, right? What, yeah. what I, do I have to lose? So I did that. Um, and I was so my my biggest reason for on passive is that I want to leave a footprint, man. I don't want to leave this world and I was only a shadow. I want to leave yeah. a print design. I want to leave something that someone would remember Raphael by and said Raphael did this and it's all because of on passive that he was able to do this. I love that, buddy. I absolutely love that. Leaving you leaving your mark in the world. Well, Marty, do you I, number one, you answered all these beautiful Raph. Marty, you got anything you want to answer, uh, ask Raph? <clears throat> uh, Raphael, for people that are watching, and I know what it's like. I worked in the MLM industry for many, many years. This is my 19th year on mine, and I've been with on passive five years. And for me, the, re the, the biggest difference is in all of those other businesses, whether it was 50 or 60 of them in the last 15 years, none of them, none of them, had a company like this where it's built built with heart. And when you hear that, you go, that sounds corny. I don't know what it means. I'll tell you what it means. I spend more time that with people here and I'm passive than I do my own family in some cases. And the reason is the power of being with positive people who want the best, believe the best, their cup is half full, not half empty, they, they believe if, it, if you can believe it, it can, you can achieve it. All those types of feelings and believing in life that we're, we can do better, believing in lifting your brother above yourself and finding thousands of people around the world that believe the same way. There's no walls. There's no oceans. There's no religion barrier. Listen, you all believe what you believe. I'm, I'm not here to change that. I'm not even here to try to change that. But one thing we have in common is we're human. We have red blood. Uh, if you care about people, that's why when I saw him pass as it was going, this was my dream come true. I was wondering what kind of feelings as time went where you went, whoa, this is different. 
You know what I mean? You, you know the money's there. I first got in, I thought, hey, maybe I can make a little money. That has been long gone for me. I know I can't make a little money. <laughs> I know I'm going to make a lot of money. But that's not what was important after a very short amount of time. Let me turn it over to you. I just wanted to give you a little bit of, about me. Marty, uh, I got an on passive. You know what's been different about on passive versus other stuff that I've been in? I got to sit in a webinar with the CEO of on passive. That's never happened with any other company. I've made friends with some of the greatest people. I, I'm a family guy, Marty I, and Chris. I love family. I have family dear to my heart. I love family. My friends, if I have friends, I keep them close to me. But the friends that I've made since I've been in on passive, there are people like you two guys. You got um, Red, Darren Cook, and I can't leave out Janet and Ethan Butler. You know, Sean, like I said, my friend Sean Butler, you know, Darren Lord. I've, I've met some friends and some very positive friends. Engineer Mike, what would I do without him? You know, he's been a great help to me, you know. I have friends that I've met in on passive that are closer than some of my family are to me. I'm going to be honest with you guys, you know, and you talk to them, you can feel that they care. You can feel the love and you got that no place else, you know, everywhere else that I was that it, everyone just wanted, wanted suck, suck, suck. You no, know, I'm mm -hmm. on passive. It's um, humanity to, to dri driven and everybody's about people, about love, you know, and I, I'm embracing that, man. I'm privileged to be a part of this company. Wow. It's, it's a common thread, isn't it? It's a yes. common thread. And every one of these that you watch, if you look at them, there's that common denominator with everyone that comes on. We all look different. We're taller, smaller, skinnier, whatever. But th that one thing comes across where the, un un the unity, because in, in, in the real business world online, you're a number, no more, no less. And you're only as good as the last person you recruited. You do not have to recruit in this company. You do not have, there's no such thing as recruit. If you'd like to share what you're doing, we, we have products that we can give away. And I mean, state of the art products that we give away. If somebody wants to buy something, we'll let them buy it. There's no car salesman. There's no nothing. The products will speak for themselves. And I love that about this company. It takes the pressure off everyone. Part of the big reason for me, same thing, Raphael, is when I got in, I my question, one of my main questions was, can anybody do it? Because I didn't like looking at people knowing that I'm using them. I didn't want to, but you do. In that industry, you're using people. You're trying to bring people in quicker than they leave. That's, that's not normal. That's not... It just doesn't mathematically make sense to me. In this company, if you're in, you win. And that's the part I really love. And with the CEO sitting with us every time, sitting around the same table as us, it means a lot. You're 100% right. That's, that's all I really have. Uh, very good uh, very good meeting, John. I love From it. The heart. I, I, From the heart. I hope, I, have, I hope everybody that sees this. This is part of the thing I want to show you. This whole... This whole thing right here is dedicated to Mr. Raphael St. Germain. Uh, me, uh, Chris, if you're listening, you're watching, I do not want you to join me. I want you to join Raphael. I'm not wor I don't have to worry about me. It's not dog eat dog. It's, I, I care for Raphael. I want him to do very well. And guess what? I don't have to ask him. I don't have to take it if he's going to. He's going to bless somebody else. That's yeah. who we are. And when we turn over to Chris, I'll start preaching, and we don't want that. Yeah, no. Uh, one thing I want to let everyone know, we're, we are not here to sell you anything. Uh, if you just heard Raphael, he's talking from his heart. He's not saying you got to get in. He's talking the truth of a little bit about his life and why he got into it. Now, real simple, because we do make this all about this guy named Raphael St. Germain. If you look, you got this big old beautiful QR code. He's got his beautiful picture right in the middle there. Uh, and you know how we said you don't need a credit card. All you got to do is uh, scan that QR code. It'll take you to a little page. You fill out a little bit of information, and you're going to get in this. And later, after you take a test drive of our products, uh, then you can decide if you want to buy something. But 
We're not here to sell you. We're here to show you what we got, to tell you the truth from our heart, because the company is definitely built on heart. And we want to show the world, all the founders, what they really think, not just some hyped up sales stuff. So, Raf, thank you very much for coming on. Again, it's a pleasure. I see you quite a bit. Thank you for doing what you're doing. And God bless you and your family, brother. And this holiday's coming up. Thank you, guys. Appreciate, so cool. appreciate being here. And thank you.